Hi everybody, this is Adam with the BMW Repair Guide. Today we are going to do a tune-up on a 2006 530XI touring wagon with the N52 engine in it. This is the uh, naturally aspirated six-cylinder engine and um, we are going to do a tune-up. We're going to replace the coils and the plugs. It's a very simple repair. Uh, I give it a level two. Anyone with average ability can easily do this repair and it will save you a whole lot of money doing it yourself. So let's get started. The first thing we have to do is, is we have to remove the cabin filter assembly. Uh, without removing the ca cabin filter assembly back here, um, you won't be able to reach the, the back cylinders. So once again, very simple. We'll do it step by step. Okay, to remove the cabin uh, filter, uh, air filter assembly. You're gonna need a flat blade screwdriver. You're gonna need a T25 Torx bit and um, a 13 millimeter socket on an extension like this to get the, uh, the to turn the plastic retaining nuts. So we'll start here in the middle. And what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna press, pull, excuse me, pull this release up and slide the clamp off. Easier said than done, there you go. Then using your 13 millimeter socket, you're gonna to wanna to release the plastic nut here in the middle. This is broken as you can see, as most cars, this does break. But I left it on there just so you can get the general idea of what's going on. So you're gonna to wanna to turn that plastic nut to release it. And you're gonna to wanna to use your screwdriver to release the filter housing cover. Then once again, 13 millimeter socket to release the plastic nut. And then you can remove the filter cover. There's your cabin filter right there. We're gonna use the T25 Torx to remove this mounting screw right here. Then, once again, 13 millimeter socket. You're gonna wanna release these plastic nuts. There you go. And uh, the cabin filter housing is now able to be removed. You can see ours is broken. And you just pull it out just like that. And we'll move to the other side and repeat. Now on this side, we're gonna wanna undo these electrical connectors first. This just pops out like that. and remove the cover. Remove the torque screw. And release the three nuts. And you should be able to pull the housing out. As such. So the cabin air filter housing's out and now we can proceed on. Okay, next we're gonna wanna remove the wiring harness, the main wiring harness um, from the uh, strut brace. So basically it's just a little plastic cover that pops off and you can just pull the wiring harness out and then remove its little plastic bracket. If on older cars, usually we find sometimes the wiring harness isn't even in this. Sometimes it's, this isn't even on the car anymore. You'll, you'll notice on older cars, if you buy one used, usually there's gonna be a lot of missing parts from them being worked on over the years. So next we'll wanna remove the engine cover. Um, 
just use a Torx wrench to remove the screws. As you can see, we're, we're missing screws. Like I said, that's normal. As these cars are worked on over the years, parts tend to disappear, unfortunately. Go ahead and lift the cover off like this. And now you can see we have clear access to the coils uh, and the spark plugs. Okay, next we're gonna remove the coils off of the spark plugs. And um, this is very simple. I like to remove this bracket that holds the engine cover. It just pulls off like this. And I like to remove it because it's kind of in the way. So I'll just kind of set that to the side. Um, I've already done the first coil pack. I've already unplugged it. Uh, what you do uh, is you, I'll show you on this one, you, you actually, lift the release like that and the plug comes right out so as you can see they unplug very simply as such um, you go ahead and unplug all six there's the rear one and the coils pull right off of the spark plugs now if they're stuck um, it's perfectly acceptable to use a socket extension to pull them off they should pop right off like that I like to number my coils um, if I'm if I'm not replacing the coils I number them um, so they're they go back on the right cylinder if I am replacing the coils which we are doing in this repair then of course there's no need to number them And the number six cylinder just gets a little tight back in there, but there you go. So we got all six coils out. Now you can see down inside the spark plug well is, of course, the spark plug. So we'll go ahead and remove this next. Okay, to remove the spark plugs, we use a, uh, a 5 8 inch spark plug socket. I like to use a magnetic one. Um, these are fantastic for getting the spark plug out of the spark plug well. Because um, if you don't use a magnetic one, usually you have to use a pair of long nose pliers to kind of fish it out. So uh, uh, these, are, these, are, these are great. Look on our parts list down in the description below this video if you need to order one. And uh, there you go, very simple. Got a little bit of oil down in that spark plug well. We had a, uh, a, a valve cover gasket leak that uh, put some oil down in there, but we fixed it. Okay, now it's time to install the new plugs. When installing new plugs, it's best to put a little bit of anti-seize lubricant on the threads. Uh, this will make the plugs easier to get out during the next um, uh, tune up. So just put a little bit on the end of your finger, apply it to the threads of the new plug. So and go ahead and hand tighten the plug into the cylinder head. Okay, then you're gonna to wanna to use a torque wrench set to 25 Newton meters or 18 foot pounds. And you're gonna to wanna to torque the plugs. There we go. And now you wanna install the coil pack back in. Um, do not 
apply any kind of grease, like dilithium grease, to the uh, coils that will cause them to slip off the plugs and will cause a misfire. So never never apply any kind of grease or anything to the to the coil. Just put them right down on, on top of the plug. Plug them in. Then use the palm of your hand to press them firmly into place. Make sure that they're seated on top of the spark plug like that. So we have replaced all of the uh, spark plugs and coils and um, basically reassembly is just the steps that we've gone through in reverse. Just a couple quick important notes um, concerning reassembly. Uh, first of all, I always like to do one last uh, go through on the coils just to make sure that they're all firmly seated. You really don't want to have any misfires after you put everything back together because then you just have to take it back apart. and diagnose where the misfire is coming from. So just one more go through on and make sure everything's seated correctly. The strut brace bolts are notorious for stripping. Um, <clears throat> here at the BMW Repair Guide, we switch ours out uh, with regular stainless steel bolts because the Torx ones, they're just notorious for stripping. So if you have the opportunity, we, we highly suggest you switch them out. Um, if you're going to use the original bolts, just be careful when you when you tighten them up, not to over tighten them, because they will, the threads will strip inside the strut towers. So, um, which is not a good situation. Um, back here, okay. Moving to the rear, when you reinstall the cabin air filter assembly. Make sure that you have your wires uh, out. Don't bury them underneath the, underneath the housing. A lot of mechanics do that. Um, it, it really stinks when you do that because you have to take the entire assembly apart to get back to the wires because they're buried underneath. Also make sure there's enough slack so when you, when you put the cabin filter assembly back in, you can, you can reach the switches. So, um, and then <clears throat> these guys, they're known as inlet manifolds. Not sure how they got that name, but uh, nevertheless, they go on the sides of the air inlets. And there's always a little, lot of confusion on how they're reinstalled. They go in like this. And you just wanna make sure that that hole lines up with, uh, with the cabin filter assembly. Um, so that's about it. Other than that, reassembly is very straightforward. Uh, we appreciate you watching our video. If uh, you want to see more videos like this, we would love it if you would subscribe to our channel. Uh, and we would like it if you would like this, this video. And um, if you have any questions or need any more help with your BMW, please visit us at uh, bmwrepairguide.com.